and Shirley Hancock, tonight on Newsroom 6. Judging from that smile, I'd say those are pictures you got back from your trip. Yeah, well, Royce and I dropped him off a quick pick before lunch. Want to have a look? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh. Wow, that view is really spectacular. I had no idea. Oh, Evan, it is far and away the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Well, I get the feeling you'll be going back for your honeymoon. Well, I wouldn't be at all surprised. But right now, it's not my honeymoon I'm thinking about. It's Damien Grimaldi. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if my meetings with him went as well as I thought they did. What makes you think that? <laughs> the simple fact that I haven't heard a word from him since I got back from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what a pleasure. Piacere, Mr. Grimaldi. I have to confess that I thought I was expecting somebody else, but I am so happy to have the pleasure to finally meet you. I'm happy to finally meet you too, Mrs. Walsh. I hear a great deal about you in Europe. All of us strong, positive. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. And may I introduce again Neil Alcott. She's my art director. A pleasure to meet you, Ms. Alcott. The pleasure's all mine, Mr. Grimaldi. And Neil studied in Rome, and she's a wonderful watercolorist. Really? Yes. Perhaps I can see her work sometime. Oh, I'm sure that can be arranged. Well, let's sit down, all right? If I'd known you were coming, I would have rolled out the red carpet. Il tappeto rosso. I appreciate that. <laughs> but I didn't know myself until very early this morning. Ah. My schedule suddenly opened up, which made it possible for me to fly in and meet with some of the American companies Kingsley Malta is interested in. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, when exactly did you arrive in town? I just arrived this afternoon. I dropped my things off at the hotel and came directly to Worldwide. Good. I'm very pleased to be the first to welcome you to Oakdale. Just hold me close, 
To you today by Pantene Pro V Shampoo and Pro V Treatment Conditioner. For hair so healthy, it shines. My cousin Eduardo was very impressed with Mr. Eldridge and his ideas. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to meet him in Rome. Ah, well, he tried to meet you, but it doesn't matter now. You're here. You can see things for yourself. My secretary is setting up something in the conference room, but why don't we take a little tour, shall we? I hope you come with us, Ms. Alcott. Well, of course. Uh, John. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Having a meeting. I see, I see. Oh, come on, let me introduce you. Uh, Damien Grimaldi, this is Dr. John Dixon, who's the uh, chief of staff at the How hospital here in Oakdale. Mr. Grimaldi is Kingsley Malta. Oh, hardly. I'm merely here representing my family's interest in the company. How do you do? Nice to see you. Nice to see nice you, to too. Nice to see you, John. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. excuse us, I'll walk you in. Nice Here, to see you. Yeah. yeah, I need a dollar for parking. Wow. This is very elegant. Yes, it is. And when it's completed, it'll house the new offices for worldwide. Ah, yes. We've outgrown this space in only a year. So I decided to have the tower built. And I hired a wonderful architect, Royce Keller. He's won awards here and abroad. You seem fascinated by this building. Perhaps I can get him uh, to have a chat with you about it, if it would please you. I might take you up on that, but I'm not quite sure of my schedule yet. Do you know how long you'll be staying in Oakdale? No, I haven't decided yet. Mm. 
Excuse me. Hmm? Excuse me. Aren't you, uh, aren't you the guy who has all that work to do on Lucinda's Tower? The very one. Hmm. Unfortunately, that requires concentration. And I have that <laughs> due to cold turkey withdrawal from not being with you 24 hours a day. Um, well, I understand completely. But really, be strong. The workday will soon be over. And Oh, listen, uh, I almost forgot. Did you call Graham and let him know that Mom, Larry, and Neil are going to no, join us for dinner? No, without input from you for the menu. Um, As a matter of fact, that's the only reason I dragged myself all the way over here. <laughs> oh, well, then your sacrifice deserves a big, juicy award. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm. Evan, Evan, have you heard from uh, Patricia Kingsley yet? Not yet, but I did drop a note by Jessica stating that we were eager to hear some feedback from our presentation. Well, if the flowers that Grimaldi sent her in Amalfi are any indication, I'd say I'm an ace of shoe in. Yeah, well, not necessarily. I haven't heard from him since. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll be in my office working with Cal if you need me. Okay. Thought he'd never leave. Um, listen, mm. why don't you uh, give Graham a call and let him know? Anything in particular you'd like for dinner? Um, how about something Italian, very Italian? Seafood with pasta and the wine we brought back with us. Okay. Oh, it's busy. I wonder who Graham's talking to. Yes, but it will be most difficult for me to do this at such short notice. I mean, can't it be put off? Very well. If it must be, it must be. But I want you to know that I'm not happy about this. Yes. Penelope. Yes, it's Graham. Look. I'm going to need your help. Because I can't make you love me. If you with Pat Kingsley. Well, 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 she told me that if it were up to her, she would go with Walsh in a minute. Kirk, that's great news. Well, it's not really, because I think when push comes to shove, the Grimaldis call the shots. Specifically, Damien Grimaldi, so he's the one we have to go after. Okay, so how do we get to him? You get to him, in Rome. Well, why wouldn't you go? All of their dealings have been with you up to this a, point. A, I have to stay close to Pat. B, you're going to charm the pants off him. And I'm going to call them late this night. And let, me, let me call them since I'm going to be meeting with them. All right, fine. I'll have the jet fueled and ready. Great. You don't expect me to believe that you didn't read it. I don't really care what you believe. All right, let's say that you didn't read it. Let's say that you're a saint and you've gone to heaven. What do you expect in return for this? What favor? I don't expect any favors. And I sure as hell don't need revenge. Yes, Jane? Fine, send her in. Oh, and Jane, have I told you how wonderful it is to have you back? Don't ever leave again? Thank you. Iva? Hi. What Hi. do you think? Different. Uh -huh. Different. Uh, how are you? To what do I owe this visit? Well, you never called me. You know, you asked me to help you redecorate, oh, and you never called. So right. I stopped by to pin you down on a time. Oh, man, I'm sorry. It's been so crazy. Uh, I, mean, I haven't even moved yet. How oh. about sometime this week? Great. Great. Right. That's good. Why don't you sit down? Oh. Tell me what else is going on in your life. Oh, I don't know. Not much. Not much. John is uh, pressuring me to spend some time with him and the boys. So what's stopping you? 
A lot of things. Like what? <clears throat> He's still seeing Lucinda. Well, what if you weren't seeing Lucinda? I don't know. I don't know. It's very complicated. Well, why don't we try to simplify it? Let's talk about what would make you happy. Well, um, getting back together with John would make me happy. Laughing again with John would make me happy. Spending Sunday mornings with him and, and, and you know what made it so magical is the fact that I trusted him so. But, you know, I don't know if we can ever get that back again. Well, there are no guarantees in life. Second chance is a gift. I'm never going to get one with Ellie. Don't blow yours with John. Might be holding. No, no, I've got it. Hey, I was wondering where you two got to. Oh, well, Hutch is helping me write some questions because I'm going to interview the rock band tonight. Rock band? Ned? It's your New York office. Oh, thanks. Hutch, <laughs> could you fix the hinge on that outer screen yeah, door for sure. me, please? Consider it done. Okay, thanks. So, how are you feeling now that your daddy's here? Okay, um, well, you know what? I do feel a little guilty making my dad come all the way out here. He's got all this work to do, and well, he's out here checking mustn't. on me. You mustn't, you mustn't, you mustn't. It's done him a world of good to see how, how well you are. Well, I have you to thank for a lot of that, Emma. <laughs> so, what did your New York office want? They're just pestering me to uh, get on with the editing. Well, get on with your editing. Edit, 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 edit. Hey. <laughs> Hutch, um, why did you take off during the picnic earlier? You know why I took off. It's funny how, how things change, isn't it? I remember last summer when I cut my hand on that door and uh, you gave me your handkerchief. <laughs> yeah, and you bled all over it, but you did wash it for me. It seemed only fair. I didn't even know your last name and I just, I wanted you to stay on here so bad. But you said you had to move on. Oh, Rosanna, um, Evan's in there on the phone for you. Oh, okay, thanks, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Um, Hutch, I'll see you later. You know, I know that Rosanna and Evan are going to be at the concert tonight, so if you want to change your mind about going, I'll understand. No way, no way. You are my date, and we are going to have a good time. Good. So what's the plan? I'll go home and change my shirt, and I'll come by and get you so we can grab a bite before the concert. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll just get a new hinge next time I'm in town and replace it, and then it should be fixed. Well, aren't I lucky to have such a handy, handy man? <laughs> Hutch, let's get going with Steady. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Duh, uh, Evan, I should probably go. Mrs. Snyder's expecting a call from Holden. tornado this morning. Last time I saw you, you had a desktop full of paper. Did you blow through it all already in, what, less than an hour? Well, the truth is, I I couldn't get much work done. Oh, Royce, I can't seem to get Amalfi out of my head. Or more precisely, us and Amalfi. I know what you mean. Mm, good. Now that I have your attention, I think... This evening is the perfect opportunity for me to meet your patroness, Corrine. So I'd like you to invite her to our dinner party this evening. What do you way think? Over here <laughs> from that, you go to home. Yeah, but then again, I couldn't have done this. Mm. 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 Okay, it's mm. getting late and it's short notice, so give Corrine a call. Corrine Hopkins doesn't ever do anything on short notice. Yeah, well then ask her to pick a more convenient date. Come on, I really want to meet her. Please, please, 
Excuse me, sir. Mr. Keller? What is it, Graham? Is there some problem with dinner? You might say that, yes, sir. Um, my sister has been injured in an automobile accident and they've what? taken her to a hospital on Long Island. My God, Graham, is she going to be all right? Frankly, no one knows. But, um, look, I'm sorry to leave you in the lurch, sir, but I really feel that oh, I... Oh, absolutely. I'm... Well, you should be Thank on your you, way sir. by now. Thank you. Um, what, what will you do about the dinner party tonight? Oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. We'll, uh, we'll move the dinner party to the Mona Lisa. You just take care of your sister and let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Thank you. Mr. Grimaldi, you're so interested in the tower. Why don't I see if I can get hold of my architect? Perhaps he can take you around to the site right now. Uh, I've taken up enough of your valuable time oh. already. No, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I, I was hoping that you might have um, dinner at my house tonight. I'll get some nice people together. Neil? Neil will be there? Thank you. But I'm afraid I can't tonight. Uh. I'm very glad we had this chance to meet, though. Your presentation was quite interesting. Good. I do hope to see your paintings while oh, I'm here. I'll be happy to arrange it. I just hope you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Judging by your work here, I think I'm not going to be that disappointed. <laughs> I really have Good to life. go. <laughs> Ciao, Miss Alcott. Ciao. Oh, oh, I forgot, Mr. Grimaldi. Dove posso trovarlo? <laughs> I'm staying at the Lake Hugh Tower. Oh, good choice, good choice. My daughter, Lily, uh, owns that, or she's half owner. She's out of town at the moment. If there's any way at all that I can help you be comfortable, let me know. Thank you. Goodbye. Mmm, -hmm. well, how about that? What do we think of him? Very handsome, very charming, very bright. Yeah. Too smart to tip his hand at this stage of the game. Mm -hmm. Nice touch with the Italian, by the way. Yeah. Uh, would you like to have dinner with me this evening? Actually, I'd love to, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Royce and Emily insisted I join them. Oh, I think that's good that you're doing that. You can find out if he has approached Emily, okay? Okay. Good. Well, isn't he something? Handsome, rich as hell, and smart to boot? Drool later, Thelma. Get on the phone now to Scott in Rome. As Damien Grimaldi is here, Scott has got to come home. Yes, ma'am. And then get on the phone to the McKechnies and see if they're free for dinner with their house guest, Patricia Kingsley, this evening. Be interesting to find out everything Patricia Kingsley knows about Damien Grimaldi. since he called to let me know that he arrived in Rome safely. And you probably won't hear it tonight, given the time difference. Well, speaking of time, you know, Ned, we better get on to the airport. It's getting late. I'm ready. Come on, Debbie. 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 Debb
Debbie! You gotta go, Debbie. You wanna leave for the airport? Okay! Dad, I can't believe you're already leaving. Well, I'm sorry, but it's all right. I'll see you in New York when school gets out. Oh, you know what? I was thinking maybe this summer I could get a job out here. Your first so? job. That's exciting. <laughs> um, you know what? Emma, I can give no. you guys a ride into the airport if you want. No, you, you all uh, have sorry, studying sorry. to do. I'm going to drive you. stuff to do. All right, so long, good guys. to see you, Ned. Yeah, Take care. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're going to be here when I get back, maybe? So long. See you soon. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go over to Cows and Change, and then I'll be back with plenty of time for you to interview the band, okay? Okay, well, I'll walk you out, because I'm going to see if there's yeah, a paper out Okay. Just see you later, Dr. Dixon. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, Matthew, John, you got a good whiff of this kitchen here. Smell all the, the good grandma's cooking, hmm? All the good stuff that goes into it. All the sweet stuff. The years of love and everything. You'll like that later on. It'll be good for you. It will be, won't it? Have you seen Hutch? Um, he's on his way to Cal's, I think. Great, thanks. Oh, Debbie, can I take a look at that orgasm? Sure, you can ask. I just want to check the time of the concert tonight. Oh. Yeah, I have to be out there early. Hutch is driving me out so I can interview the band. See you. So, dinner plans have been moved to the Mona Lisa because Graham had a family emergency. Sounds serious. What happened? Well, his sister had a car accident. So he's going to fly out to Long Island to be with her. Oh, jeez. I hope she's going to be okay. Yeah, so do we. But I can't say I won't mind having a little alone time with Royce without Graham lurking around. <laughs> Is that terrible? No, it's <laughs> honest. I think I'd go a little nuts if Graham were watching Scott and me all the time. Well, you know, it's too bad you can't sneak off and surprise him wherever he is. Well, yeah, something about that sneaking off thing. I don't think Lucinda's really for it. Mmm, well, you know, M&A's sneak-off policy is far more liberal. So, anytime you want to change, just say the word. Thanks, Em. I'm happy here. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Bye. Repeat after me. I am in Oakdale, not Amalfi. <laughs> Thanks. I definitely needed that. You heard from Patricia Kingsley? Not yet. Have you heard from Damien Grimaldi? No. And I doubt I will until tomorrow now. It's almost midnight over there. Okay, the jet's fueled and ready to take you to Rome tomorrow morning. Is Cal going with you? I didn't ask him. I want to stay completely focused on business. He, Good. He understands. I'm going to try to stay completely focused on Pat Kingsley, see if I can't uh, scare up some dinner with her or something like that. Yes, Jane? What? No, send him in. 
Uh, get a bottle of her best champagne. Going to Rome? Not. <laughs> Mr. Grimaldi, Kirk Anderson, it's a pleasure. Mine too, Mr. Anderson. I hope you don't mind my passing by without an appointment. Not at all. Connor Walsh, chairman of the board. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Grimaldi. We had no idea that you were going to be in Oakdale. I had lunch with Patricia Kingsley. She didn't mention it. Because she didn't know. Nor did I until early this morning. Kingsley Mata is interested in several American companies, so I decided it was time to meet them personally. So just how long have you been in Oakdale? I just arrived this afternoon. I met with Lucinda Walsh at Worldwide and came straight here. By the way, are you any relation to Mrs. Walsh? Barely. It's a long story. Oh. Sometime you'll have to tell me. Uh, excuse me while I take this. Would you like to have a seat? <clears throat> My secretary is getting us some champagne. Kirk Anderson here. Have I interrupted you in the middle of an important meeting? Not yet, you haven't. How may I help you? I felt that I hadn't thanked you properly for returning my Kingsley Malta files that Steve Hennessy stole. <laughs> well, no thanks are necessary, really. No, probably not, as you probably read them before you returned them, even though you said you didn't. But still, I felt obliged to call you. I know exactly why you called, and yes, I'm smack dab in the middle of a meeting with Damien Grimaldi. Ciao. A long time ago. Really? Yeah. Where? Uh, I started in Milan, mm -hmm. and sort of went down into the southern parts of the